I was born and educated as a girl, but men's sports have always appealed to me particularly. I'm very fond of golf, very keen on swimming, and tennis, of course. In uh, 1927, I was a schoolgirl champion. Uh, as the years passed on, it became very evident that the male side and the male personality was becoming dominant. So after seeking medical advice, I decided to cast aside women's clothing for those of a male. Although I no longer use lipstick and powder, which would be rather ridiculous when one has to shave every day, uh, I don't blame the modern girl for using it, and it sometimes makes them appear really more beautiful than they are. But seriously, I do not consider that woman is inferior to man as she has huge responsibilities and a definite purpose in life. I left New Zealand because of the publicity which followed me wherever I went and I hope to go to London at a later date and when I return to settle down and marry here and continue with my musical career. What's quite cute about it, he shows how the trans movement and the feminist movement can work in tandem with one another. But I think there's a misconception that trans people are tearing down things that feminists built. This shows that historically trans people and women have always worked together and understood each other's perspectives. I was also interested in, I thought, how he described his experience. The male side just started to take over. I really liked his voice. It's a Kiwi accent, isn't it? Would well, like him to read me an audiobook. Well, he's probably not around. Probably, not around, probably can't ask him anymore. <laughs> but you can always go to New Zealand. <laughs> okay, I can.